deserve to be locked up for life. That's not fair. Because I just may be the nicest criminal you'd ever know. I get a call from this Hollywood producer, and she starts explaining this incredible opportunity. This is gonna make you a star. Six days later, I'm on a flight to Indonesia. It's a story that sounds like a Hollywood movie. Creative professionals lured to Indonesia on the promise of work from major Hollywood figures. There were actors, photographers, makeup artists, literally hundreds and hundreds of victims from all around the world. I had exhausted all of my savings. Two hundred dollars, dollars, over a million dollars. But it wasn't really about the money. It was about something else. We have a special relationship. You understand what I mean, right? Then she said, could you take your shirt off? This is a really horrible person. She wanted to get inside the minds and the dreams of people and twist them and destroy them. Their sole purpose was psychological devastation. We were completely paranoid. How do I get out of here? Who do I trust? What would drive somebody to create such an elaborate fantasy? We had to figure out who was behind this. At the center of this is a mysterious figure known as the Con Queen. Con Queen. Con Queen. Con Queen.